Yo guys, how you all doing? Match day vlog time. Standing in for Murray with the match day vlog, and I'll let him explain why. Yo guys, how you all doing today? Murray went at 75. As you can see, guys, I'm not in my house. It's not going to be a match day vlog for me today. I'm at the airport just now, going away on my honeymoon. Uh, so, yeah, I'm not going to be able to do my recording today, so I'm going to miss a game today, which I'm absolutely devastated about. Um, but Gav from Hibstock is going to be doing my match day vlog for me today. I'm just going to quickly do the intro, intro and do my predictions for the game as well. Uh, if you haven't done it already, we've done a podcast last night uh, at HFC Talk. Please give it a listen because it's a really, really good one. Um, predictions at this point, it's going to be a tough game today. But I said last night in the podcast it's going to be 4-0 for Hibs. I'm going to stick to that. Uh, I think it's going to be a really, really interesting game. I think it'll be good. I think it'll be a nice way to get Wednesday out of our system as well after the disappointment of not being able to capitalise um, at Tynecastle on Wednesday but we'll see what happens guys, uh, I will see you in a week, I will be back for the Aberdeen game, there will be a match day vlog there so please keep an eye out for it, Gav the rest is over to you mate. Thank you Murray, yes for those of you who don't know my name's Gav, I'm the host of Hibs Talk, the podcast where we funnily enough talk about Hibs, so big game today. I think there'll be a lot of support. I think it's good that we're getting back to concentrating on football today after all the stuff that's went on midweek. I think there will be a very vocal support for Neil Lennon um, in today's game. But yeah, I think it's good to be getting back to the football. It'll be interesting with Canberra out. Hopefully that means a start for Cam um, for McLaren. McLaren can get you know, 60, 70 minutes under his belt. And when Canberra's back fit, the two of them can start playing together because... We have been sorely missing that partnership. Canberra and McLaren were on fire last season and it'll be great to see them back. So hopefully McLaren starts today. I'm thinking McLaren up top, Boyle on one wing, Horgan on the other. And, you know, um, we had a lot better success last season with 4-3-3. Um, and I'm sure St. Johnson were in the four teams where we won four in a row. And it was Murray up top um, with Boyle on one wing and Barker on the other. So, you know, I don't see why we can't go for that same sort of formation today. Um, a lot, obviously quite a different person. All the teams changed in a year. But, yeah, um, I'm very confident that we can get a good result today. I said it on the podcast and I'm going to sect it. 3-1 Hibs, come on. Well, folks, what do we make of that then? A uh, final score, Hibernian nil, St Johnston won. It's our first defeat in the league since November last year. Our first defeat this season at home. And I'm going to say it, I think we deserved it. Uh, I think I think St Johnston deserved their win. We deserved to get beat. Um, it was a tactical battle between two managers who are 
very clued up and don't get me wrong, got a lot of time up for Neil Lennon. I think he is a fantastic manager. But I think Tommy Wright got the better of him um, today. And the key, the turning point was the substitutions. Uh, when it came to making changes, Tommy Wright got it spot on. And being able to bring on a player like Danny Swanson, if only we had that luxury. Eh? Uh, and our substitutions, we didn't, we weren't able to have the same impact. And I know people say, "Oh, this player's injured," and "Oh, this player's suspended." It doesn't matter. We should have, you know, the strength and depth. It's clear that the way Lennon sets up, he wants to have a, a, a target man up top, a big man up top, um, and somebody like McLaren playing off them. And with Cam Berry being injured, we should have somebody that can come into the the fray and, you know, it, sorry, with Cam Berry being suspended. With Cam Berry being suspended, we should have somebody that should be able to come in and uh, not only be a backup to Cam Berry, but also give competition to Cam Berry. Uh, his decision to move Effie to the right back when he took off Whitaker, rather than bringing on, I won't try and say his real name, but the Harry as everyone's calling them, the Greek right back we've signed. So you've got a Greek right you've got a right back on your bench and you take on um you take off a right back and you put on a right back. Um it's weird. But so going back to more to the start of the game, I thought we started okay. We looked a bit iffy and a bit it was sort of times where it was like things were almost coming off and I felt like we just needed to be patient and wait and see what happened with it. Um I was getting a bit frustrated at Horgan. He was being a bit there's a couple of times where he would it wasn't tracking back and being quite um, lazy, for lack of a better word. Um, so that was was quite frustrating. And then all of a sudden, um, Lennon changes it and goes to Diamond. This is only like twenty five minutes in. Um, there's no, no been real a time for the team to you know get into a flow to get into a rhythm, and they're already having to change. And Boyle's up top. Horgan's now playing the number ten position. Um, Heinemann's playing deeper, which didn't benefit Hibbs, um, and that you know Whitaker has always been his whole career a fullback that likes to go forward. He's been better going forward than he is going back. I don't have an issue with that, but the problem is when he was younger, he had the legs to come back, whereas now he doesn't. So in this game, he was bombing forward, um, especially when we changed formation, and it meant that there was one instant where. St Johnson were attacking and had the, they were taking touches in our box and Stephen Whitaker was still in there in the St Johnson half. Um, unbelievable that you're, you're right back of a back four, not of a back five, you're right back of a back four is still in the, the opponent's half. So a really poor display from him today, unfortunately. We lacked any height. Um, more positives though, Bartley was immense. A uh, bit silly, obviously, with the penalty which was missed by Danny Swanson. Um, which I think other positives. Bogdan, really good performance, solid performance. I don't think he uh, could be much blamed for the goal. I don't know. I need, I need to see it again. People might say he should have came for it, but I thought Bogdan uh, had a really good game. Um, Ambrose and Milligan looked like a decent partnership and then got broken up, and that caused us some issues. Uh other than that, you know, you're struggling. Boyle bursts at times, but that was really it. So, a very frustra frustrating game. Canberra's back after suspension for the Aberdeen game. Um, so, it'll be interesting to see what happens next. And to finish up, I'd just sort of like to say the support that Neil Lennon got at the start of the game was fantastic. Um, hopefully, I'll, I'll be able to edit in a, cl a clip of it the video of the, the fans cheering his name and there's only one Neil Lennon and it was great to see that support for him after um, what's been a really ridiculous week in Scottish football when it comes to that. Um, it's my own opinion that this is our last season with Neil Lennon. A lot of people think he's either going to, a lot of people think he's away to Celtic. I think he's done with Scottish football. I think he'll either go be a pundit and take his time picking his next job or he'll get a job down south um, I think Neil Lennon has done enough to say to warrant, you know, a lower Premier League, higher Championship. Um, and he jumped into the Bolton job when he last, last time he went down south. I think this time he might be more sensible in 
looking at the club's structure behind the scenes, everything's in place to make sure he's not jumping into a situation like he did at Bolton. So I think Neil Lennon could end up at, you know, like a Leeds or a um, Red, and I don't know what their situations are behind the scenes, or even the likes of a West Ham or Leicester or something like that. He's that good a manager, and I think this is our last season with him, so we should enjoy it, unless something even comes up sooner. So hopefully that's not the case. Um, so yeah, it's, it's been a bad week for Scottish football. I was hoping to get back on track today with Hibs, but we, we unfortunately didn't. So um, we'll be if you if you enjoyed if you enjoy listening, to folk, you know breaking down the games and stuff. We'll be doing the podcast on uh, probably Monday night. So it'll be up on Tuesday morning. Um, the it was, uh, just search for Hips Talk or the likes of um, iTunes, Spotify, wherever you get your podcasts. Or we also do it here on um, on YouTube. So to finish up, if you could leave your comments below, wishing Murray a um, a good time on his honeymoon, it'd be great. Subscribe to his channel here and head over, click here to head over to our channel and check it out. Thanks a lot.